Hi everyone, I'm Jeannie Ellis and I'm also known as Scrapbooking Mama. And today I want to do the first video in the series of uh, where I got some product from BB Craft Global Land, uh, department in BB Craft. Um, anyway, I got some product from them and I did a haul video on it about a week ago or so. And I am going to go ahead and start on a project that using some of the die cuts today. And the ones that I want to use are the teapots. There's also some cute little teacups too. Uh, but right now what I want to work on are the teapots. Uh, <laughs> Get myself straight there. So I saw a technique where you use glitter paper and you color on the glitter, glitter, <laughs> glitter paper after you have to cut out your die cut and put it onto the glitter paper. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and get my platform here. And you can see it's well, well used. And I'm going to try putting it in. Yeah, I've got I've got replacements. I'm just I want to wait as long as I can apparently <laughs> before I go ahead and use them. And uh, before I replace them, that is. So we're going to try and see how it does this direction since the other direction it stayed bowed and I always thought if you turned it the, the direction where it was bowed or if it was curved downward I you know I, if it's curved downward then you turn it over and put it in so I don't know I've seen different opinions on that so I don't want this to move on me hopefully and I'm going to put it into my Gemini the Junior. Now I like to run it through twice and I'm hoping I didn't accidentally move them when I ran it back through the second time. But they look like they cut out really, really well. And it is so pretty. Look at that. And so is this one. This one I'm particularly anxious to do because it's got a lot of open space to it. So I'm going to stick my Gemini platform back over this direction. And because I've got two pieces here, I want to go ahead and now this one, I don't know what happened here. I didn't cut quite right, so I probably need to cut that again, and I'm not sure if it'll fit on here, or if I'll have to get another piece. Yeah, that's not going to fit, so I'm going to have to do that one again. Let's see how I cut that time. Yes, better. I must have had it off the edge and didn't realize it. So we'll just go ahead and put it there for now. What I'm going to do is get me some glue here, some Beacon 3 and 1. And I am going to put some glue on my silicone mat. And you can see my silicone mat has been well used. <music> color these and so I'm going to go and get me some colors and I'll be right back. Let's see what I can do with uh, a magenta and a pink color. I'm going to go ahead and start on the edge here and all I'm doing is going inside the black lines. You could do this in gold outline and it would be really pretty do make it into a Christmas one that'd be really gorgeous or even a silver but see all I'm doing is coloring in 
the inside of that teapot. That's all I'm doing. And see how pretty that is? You don't have to worry about cutting out different pieces of, of um, glitter paper. there now I'm not going to I'm not going to color a pink tea <laughs> let's see if I can find me a brown yeah here we go almost looks black hopefully it'll lighten up Anyway, there's the two teapots colored onto glitter paper, and I will be adding some more stuff to it, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to take a break because I had some company, but I wanted to let you know that one of the things that I had done off camera was that I had cut this out using the sentiment that I got, you make me smile. Uh, I cut it out on toner paper. And then I ran that toner paper with some foil over that word and uh, ran it through this laminator, which is what I'm going to do on this one. I had just plain black on this one to put on there. And while it looks good, it looks nice. I mean, nothing wrong with that. But I like the color, so I'm going to try to see if I can do a different color for this one. So I'll be right back, and I will see you in a minute. So I've cut a piece of craft uh, toner paper, and I've cut a piece of deco file or deco foil. And now what I got to do is take in this to my die cut machine and cut this out while I have my laminator heating up. So let me get my. Gemini plates here. Again, they are pretty worn out, and I've got, I've got new ones. <laughs> Just hate to break in the new ones. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and cut out the toner paper. So that, or the, yeah, with the die cut, you make me smile. And I, this time I'm going to use a blue color, and hopefully it'll bring out the turquoise color in here too. If I had this color, I probably would have done that, but I don't. So anyway, I am going to take this over to my uh, laminator and put it through the machine, and I will be right back. Oh, got one thing you got to remember is that when you do put deco foil or any kind of foil on top of your uh, toner paper or sentiment or whatever you've got in there that's got that ability to accept deco foil, you put the paper right side up, not turn it over. You put it up, the pretty side up. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I've got got it through the machine, and I'm, I put it through once. Usually I put it through twice, but let's just hopefully this one time will be enough. Take it off. Oh my goodness. Such a beautiful color that is. And that die cut did really, really well going through my machine too. So let's see how it looks on here. I think that's going to be really pretty. I wish it would show the colors and the glitter and everything better. But I'll have pictures at the end. And then you're left with this piece here. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and glue these together. tip on it really worked on there so and let me see if there's anything here okay that one's fine so that that's good it's stuck all right all right so I've got that and I've got this black card sock piece right here that dry a little bit. This is dry. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. That teapot is oh, it's such a gorgeous thing. It's such a gorgeous piece. And I got the idea from a friend of mine on YouTube and I will link her channel below if I don't forget because it is it was an idea I got from her and I'm not going to take credit for something that I didn't make up. But it was such a beautiful die cut to uh, do that technique to. I thought, you know, it's, I'm going to do it because it's beautiful. There's that one, and then I'm going to get another sheet and do a different uh, color on background on that one, I believe. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I did a little change of plans as far as the paper goes for my uh, cards. I decided I, I had this in uh, scraps. And I can't remember where I got that from. It's not from where I usually get. But I thought... So, I am going to put this one on the gold because it's got the gold trims on it. So, I'm going to add more uh, adhesive on here. Okay, now how pretty is that? So I've got two cards made. And I'm, if I add anything, it'll be in the photos at the end. And you'll see it then. But these are just beautiful, beautiful die cuts. And 
it's fun to color the backgrounds in them uh, different colors and it just it just works so well for that technique that I, I saw anyway be sure that you check out the description box below there is a coupon for five dollars off of forty dollars or more and the coupon code is j-e-a-n-i-e -E, capital j and there is a youtube program through the company also bb crafts please like and subscribe to my videos and if you don't want to miss any videos that come that i upload make sure that you hit that that little bell down there below and thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all of you and have many many blessings i'll see you in the next video when i do another design through this company bye for now